And now for the main event this evening, na uh, itong issue ng Bangsa Moro, basic law, kohan, because that is all that it is, law kohan. Ano? Uh, and uh, again, we have our regular analysts uh, on this most crucial of issues, uh, former Governor uh, Homobono Adaza and former member of parliament. Uh, and of course, uh, we especially appreciate the effort of our other guest, uh, Mr. Ferdi Pasion, whom we requested to pour over this uh, Bangsa Moro law, which is a kohan, law kohan, as he will expose. So let's uh, start with our senior analyst. Uh, Bono, you are from Mindanao. This is the, the land of your birth, the island of your birth. Uh, anong reaction mo dito sa uh, ipinipilit ni Penoy na dalhin sa Europe, European visit niya to present to his masters there? Alam mo. Conceptually, this is not only insane, it's also stupid. And as a policy, it really translates into stupidity and insanity. Why? In the first place, it violates several provisions of the Constitution. It violates Article 1 on national territory because it injects into the picture a country within a country. Bangsa is a country. It's within a country. As a matter of fact, the powers defined by the proposed law is such that they are really becoming a powerful country within the country itself. Second, the president under the law is supposed to execute the laws and preserve and defend the constitution. He is not preserving and defending the constitution. As a matter of fact, he is destroying the constitution by doing this in Mindanao mm -hmm. and affecting the whole country in effect. Okay. And, uh, and uh, other than that, it violates also mm -hmm. Section 1 of Article 3 of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. You know, they've been saying all over media that this is a uh, uh, fairer opportunity for everybody. Mm -hmm. It is not true that it's fairer opportunity mm -hmm. for everybody. As a matter of fact, it violates the Equal Protection Clause of the Constitution. If the suffering of that portion of Mindanao is to be made as the basis for the creation of a Bangsa Moro. We should create the Bangsa here, mm -hmm. in Metro Manila. That's right. Because the suffering of the poor here is as intense as the suffering of the poor mm -hmm. in uh, Mindanao. Mm -hmm. And so many other provisions which I will mention later. Okay. Uh, Let's give time to uh, Ferdi who um, poured through the document. I don't know how many pages that is, but you can see the evidence here. Uh, so, Ferdi, uh, this will take a little time, Bono, no? so we'll give time to Ferdi. Yes, well, please. Uh, number one, uh, the Constitution only provides the, uh, for the uh, enactment of an organic act and not a basic law. A basic law is synonymous to a Constitution. And in fact, this uh, proposed uh, basic law has a preamble and can only be amended with a plebiscite. Therefore, it partakes the nature of a Constitution. And the name uh, Bangsa means state and Moro means Islamic. So this is the creation of an Islamic state in the southern Philippines. And it uh, says in the title that uh, it's the, one of its purposes is to abolish the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao. How can an ordinary statute or republic act abolish a provision of the constitution? Because the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao is specifically provided for in the 1987 okay. Constitution. Okay, uh, just quick reaction from Bono. Yes or no? Correct. That's correct. Okay. The interpretation is correct. Okay, uh, back to Ferdi. And then uh, they use the, the term intergovernmental. So it's no longer a government under the uh, Republic of the Philippines, but uh, equal to the Republic of the Philippines. If it, if it were uh, under the national government, then it should be intra-governmental. Yes. Uh, uh, right or wrong? As a matter of fact, it should treat it as a local government unit. Okay. Mm -hmm. If that were the case. Mm -hmm. Ferdi. And then uh, we go to the preamble. Uh, as I said, uh, all the constitutions have a preamble. And it has a preamble. And it, uh, it creates two uh, classes of citizens. Uh, which is uh, violative of the equal protection. Uh, what is the specific uh, uh, wording? Uh, we, the Bangsamoro people, and other inhabitants of the Bangsamoro, presumably the, the non-Muslims there. So there are two kinds of uh, people there, the, the Bangsamoro people and the other inhabitants of the Bangsamoro. And it mentions here the right to self-determination. This is equal to independence. 
Mm -hmm. As a contemplated okay. under international Bono law. is uh, nodding. Correct again. Correct <laughs> again. <laughs> Anong implication yan uh, sa mga Mindanaoans and the rest of the country? The implication should be that there is a new country in Mindanao and the other areas in the country would make the same demands. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, the follow-up here is the 85% of Mindanaoans will demand mm -hmm. that they be given also the same status mm -hmm. as these uh, people. Because, you know, the, the MILF, is a minority mm. within a minority. Mm. The Muslims in Mindanao are about 15%. Mm. 85 is Lomads, Christians, and other denominations. Now, if they can give privileges to 15%, why not give privileges to 85%? Or Mindanaoans who suffer the same uh, pains, the same mm. problems as mm. the ones who are in that area. Okay, let's go on with the details again. Uh, proof that it is a state and not a sub-state and not an autonomous region, it has a flag, an emblem, and an anthem. And it has the attribute of a state. It has a territory. Aside from that, uh, uh, outside of the core territory, uh, people may opt at any time to be part of the Bangsamoro upon just a petition of at least 10% of the registered voters in that territory. In that territory, not so, in the, uh, the nation. In other words, we other Filipinos have no say anymore there. Yeah, uh, 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 there will be other territories outside of the Bangsamoro, let's say in uh, Maharlika village, mm. that can be part of the Bangsamoro. So there will be packets of territories all over the country that can be part of the Bangsamoro mm. territory. Oh, you know, mm. <laughs> after hearing all this, I'm shocked. Mm -hmm. What the proponents here need is a psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. Because uh, any ordinary, intelligent person will not come out with these provisions mm -hmm. by way of proposal in creating Bansamoro. Mm -hmm. okay. They need a psychiatrist. Okay, uh, let's go on. And then uh, another attribute of uh, state is uh, granted to it because it uh, has uh, Bansamoro waters uh, with uh, 12 nautical miles uh, from the Coast. So territory again, yan, given to them. Oh. Yes, and then uh, not only in the preamble, preamble, but also inside the uh, uh, proposed law, uh, there is again the mention of uh, the word self-determination, which is equivalent to uh, independence under the United Nations. And then uh, it's a, uh, uh, although it says that it is a ministerial form of government, it is actually a parliamentary form of government. Although the 1987 Constitution also only speaks of uh, presidential uh, uh, form of government. It does not have a uh, definition of terms. Therefore, the phrase uh, that uh, goes like this, the Bangsamoro abides by the principle that the country renounces war as an instrument of national policy, which is the country, the Philippines or the Bangsamoro. Okay, reaction from uh, I, uh, <laughs> Attorney Adaza. You know, I cannot help but uh, laugh at uh, oh. the what uh, uh, is reading because mm. the contents of this uh, uh, proposal it's very scandalous. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether they consulted lawyers here and constitutionalists because if they did, this kind of proposal will not be presented in Congress. Mm -hmm. I would like to wonder how the congressmen would receive this. That's right. Either they'd be serious or they'd, they'd laugh. If they're serious, then they deserve also the same kind of treatment okay. that well, the framers yeah. do. Just a very, very brief break. No? Uh, now, if this is approved by Belmonte, I will use the term Belmonte and Rilon, because maybe it will not be approved by the uh, majority of the members of both houses, but they will find a way, di ba? They can bring this now to the United Nations and on this basis eh, demand uh, all sorts of actions from the United Nations, right or wrong? Of course. Oh, so that's a really a that. problem, you know? They'll do that. Oh. So, tuli natin, Ferdi, next one. Uh, uh, I think that uh, the one who uh, framed this or drafted this is not a Filipino because he uses the term central government instead of national government. And another thing, uh, we are at, uh, uh, we will become uh, second class citizens because they will remain as Filipinos and at the same time uh, Bangsamoro people. As Filipinos, they will have equal uh, protection together with us, but as uh, Bangsamoro people, they will have preferential uh, treatment over us. Yeah, it was It's still a violation, Section 1, uh, Article 3 mm. of the Constitution, the equal protection, protection of the law. Oh. Uh, for example, uh, I visit uh, no, uh, that area, Bangsamoro, and uh, I'm accused of something. What law will now be applied to me? I'm from Luzon, I'm from Pasig, and then I'm uh, accused there. Uh, no. 
Sharia law because they're going to, you, you will point that out later, they don't have Sharia law. Uh, <laughs> funny, huh? That's, that's really, really ridiculous because mm. in a country like ours, there should only be one law, mm. the law of the Republic of the Philippines mm. as, as reflected in the Constitution mm. and other statutory laws that are approved by Congress mm. and approved also by the uh, President. I don't know what the portion there will be on that law, no, but will they cut off my hand if I'm accused of uh, the theft, theft or, or robbery uh, or other parts of my body? Is that still part of Sharia law? Uh, but uh, these are questions precisely that uh, has to be raised, eh, di ba? Uh, but no, well, let's get back to Ferdy first. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, another reason why I believe that it is not written by a Filipino, uh, the one who wrote this does not even know the relevant uh, central government agencies uh, w when it comes to land registration. They are the Land Registration Authority and the DNR. But in only, it only says here relevant central government agencies, not even na relevant national government agencies. And, uh, so as a lawyer, uh, how is that subject to loose interpretation? Yeah, the, it really would contradict the Constitution mm. and the existing laws of the Republic of the Philippines. Mm. Because in effect, they would be saying that yeah, the registration laws in that area would be different from the registration laws mm. of the Republic of the Philippines. Mm. Or if there is conflict, uh, what will prevail is mm. their law mm. and not the law of the Republic of the Philippines. Mm. That's strange. Conceptually, very, very strange. Okay, totally And then, the, we, uh, as I have said, this is worse than becoming a colony. Uh, at least under the, when we were a colony of the United States, we have parity. But this one, they have uh, preferential treatment over us. And at the same time, uh, uh, when it comes to a colony and a mother country, the mother country subsidizes the colony. But this time, uh, we are worse than a colony. We have uh, become a vassal because we will be paying uh, money to them. Uh, like, for example, the funding on main of the, for the maintenance of the national roads, bridges, and irrigation systems will be borne by us. Of the uh, Bangsamoro uh, entity. Yes, uh -huh, okay. and then uh, another attribute of the state is that they can contract loans and they are given that power. But I am uh, surprised that when it comes to the Islamic banking system, the national government retains the, the power to jointly promote the development of the Islamic banking system. I think the IMF World Bank has a hand here because they do not want uh, the Islamic banking system to fully develop. And uh, they have the power to uh, organize uh, GOCCs, uh, which I believe uh, only belongs to Congress. Again, uh, GOCCs. Is correct. The, oh, okay. the interpretation is correct. Mm. And then um, uh, they have the power to uh, establish uh, power generation, transmission, and distribution operating exclusively in the Bangsamoro and not connected to the national transmission grid. So mm -hmm. they will be depriving us of power or, or they will be selling us power at a high rate. And or, or, uh, they have the power over natural resources, but uh, under the national economy and patrimony provision of the Constitution, all natural resources belong to the state with the exception when the state allows a 60-40 uh, uh, arrangement. And then they have the power of eminent domain, another uh, attribute of a state. And then uh, they have the power to uh, manage, regulate, conserve all fishery, marine, and aquatic resources. So how about the Filipino fishermen? Mm -hmm. Will we still be able to uh, fish, fish in, in their waters? Mm -hmm. They have the power to issue a subpoena or a subpoena ducesticum. So if uh, you are uh, here in Manila, maybe they can mm -hmm. issue you a Let's subpoena. Let's ask a lawyer uh, reaction to that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the reaction is always laughter mm -hmm. because, as I said previously, it contradicts the basic concept of the Philippines as a republican state governed by the constitution and mm. statutory laws. Mm. Here, without even amending the constitution, mm. Congress, with the uh, recommendation approval of the president, <laughs> grants Bang Shemoro authorities which should only emanate from the legislature. Yeah, the laughter will turn into tears if this really becomes law. No, that, that's, no it's not tears. <laughs> mm. uh, it will be rage. It will be rage and violence. Okay, let's uh, continue. Other details. And then uh, they give the power uh, to uh, grant franchises, which I believe also belongs to uh, the Congress. Congress. Yeah. And then uh, while we are funding and uh, paying with our taxes the operation of, of the state uh, universities and colleges, uh, it says here that uh, the SUCs within the Bangsamoro, SUCs, uh, SUCs, state universities and colleges, yes, oh. shall be considered part of the Bangsamoro educational system. 
So we'll be footing all the bills while they will be enjoying, uh, they will have their cake and eat it too. And they will be teaching uh, ISIS. Uh, ISIS and Jihad <laughs> and so yeah, on. Yeah, very no? like me. Oh. That will happen because yeah. the country will be introducing the seeds of ISIS because mm. of the concept mm. No? Mm. of the international mm. caliphate. Mm. Yeah. It will be there, That's 200, right. as a matter of well, fact, 200 you know, uh, I'll just interject, in and this is, this is subject for another discussion, pag-uusapan natin ito na, uh, the uh, ruling powers really want to divide the world into Muslim, Christian, and some other religions, and then there will be the clash of civilization, uh, civilizations written by Huntington, Huntington. in 1992. Uh, Sinaset up nila para mag malaking malaking gera like the crusades of the past, ano? but that's another subject. She get totally other details, please. Yes, uh, and uh, you know, uh, they, they are creating an uh, empire actually because they have an emperor called, called Wali. And the prime minister will not be... Uh, okay. Anong technical term dun sa Wali? Anong te technical uh, function described? Uh, uh, he it, is the prime minister? Or? He is supposed to be the head of state. Mm. So if you have a head of state, then you are a state. You are a state. Oh. And uh, <laughs> in, in Malaysia, they have these uh, Wali's for each of the states. Uh, they have the rotating uh, king, uh, 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 king, monarchy, king, monarchy, a rotating king, and Sultanate, so, rotating uh, uh, and the head of each state king. is called the chief minister. So mm -hmm. this is already fit to be uh, incorporated into the Federation of Malaysia later on. And uh, they, will, they will have double representation because they will still have congressmen in the House of Representatives and maybe some senators, but at the same time, uh, they have their own parliament. And then, uh, ito, mabigat to, no? uh, they will have one cabinet secretary. Uh, uh, so this is, again, a violation of the Equal Protection Clause. And then one in each of all the other de departments, offices, and bureaus holding executive, primarily confidential, highly technical, policy-determining positions. So in all the offices of the government, they will have one. And then one commissioner in each of the constitutional bodies. Uh, so this is, in effect, a, a, an amendment of the Constitution because uh, there's no requirement that in the Constitution that one commissioner in each of the constitutional bodies so shall come to... So if Comelec has only three commissioners, baka Samoro will have one, lamang na sila sa lahat. No? <laughs> Bono, you are shaking your head. Correct. Of course, you no, will have the I, same reaction. I, I cannot help but shake my head. Mm. How can a proposal like this come from people with intelligence? How? Well, from the intelligence of the United States of America, siguro. Ano? From kaya, the, very likely from the American Marines, as they say. <laughs> oh, uh, kaya nga, yung mga terminology dyan, yung iba na kikita ni Kaffer Dina, ibang dayuhan ng sumulat kasi hindi natin gagamitin, ka, lalo na local lawyers who know the terms national government and so on. No? So, tuloy mo, Kaffer Dina, we're running out of time. And then, uh, only the parliament will vote for the chief minister. <laughs> depriving the people of uh, the ability to directly elect their leader. And then uh, uh, they will have their own commission on elections, uh, ostensibly still under the commission on elections, but uh, we will foot the bill. We'll still uh, pay for Spend the for operations. We pay for almost all the bills while they get 75% of the resources and so on. Ipapasukan if we have time. If not, we have to continue in another episode. The decisions of the Sharia High Court shall be final and executory. Uh, the Constitution says that only the Supreme Court can <laughs> render a final and executory judgment. One justice in the Supreme Court and two justices in the Court of Appeals uh, shall be given to uh, somebody from the uh, Bangsamoro. This is again a, a, uh, an equal, amendment e of the Constitution. A violation of, of equal of protection. <coughs> And then they can have more, uh, more than one uh, uh, justice in the Supreme Court and more than two justices in the Court of Appeals because it says here the appointment of those uh, recommended by the Chief Minister to the judicial positions uh, mentioned are without prejudice to appointments that may, they, that may be extended to other qualified inhabitants of the Bangsamoro to other positions in the judiciary. Okay, Ferdi, we have around two, three minutes left, so it go, jump to the most crucial. Uh, the most crucial is the... Uh, uh, the taxes, no? Uh, all taxes that uh, will be collected by the Bangsamoro uh, that they create shall accrue exclusively to the yeah. Bangsamoro Ano sharing ng taxes? 75% for Bangsamoro, 25% for the national government, di ba? Uh, there are two kinds of taxes. Eh. Ah. The taxes uh, that they uh, will be creating will only accrue to them. The taxes that will be the central government taxes uh, collected in the Bangsamoro, 25-75. 25 to the central government, 75 to, to the Bangsamoro. But the 25 share of the local go government 
will, uh, of no, the central, national, government, central government yeah. well, will not be given to the central government for a period of 10 years. It will be retained for 10 years by the Bangsamoro so, government. So, ang uh, Filipino taxpayer, <laughs> isang daang milyon, uh, magsusuporta sa kanila. Sila, walang ibibigay, ibabalik sa na, uh, national for government. For 10 years. Uh -huh. And then, uh, we will be subsidizing them uh, through automatic opera, uh, appropriation. There is, there is a formula here uh, that uh, uh, four percent of the uh, uh, let me see. Uh, anyway, uh, we will be subsidizing them. There is a formula mm. for automatic appropriation. The national, uh, the natural resources for non-metallic minerals. The central government will get zero share. Uh, for uh, metallic minerals, the central government will on only get 25 percent share. For fossil fuels and uranium, specifically mentioned is the uranium, we, the central government will only get 50% share. This is again, uh, I think, uh, violative of the national economy and patrimony provision wherein it says that all natural okay. resources belong to the state. Yeah, we're nearing the end of our time, so I'll go back to Bono. Wrap up natin, Bono. Marami pang ibang mga detalya. We'll have another session on this kasi napakarami talagang uh, objectionable uh, You know the violation of the Constitution? by the provisions mm. mentioned and defined by Ferdi here is overwhelming. Mm. It's overwhelming. Question, how yeah. will Belmonte and Rilon uh, ram this through? Well, they always ram through many things. Eh? Mm. As a matter of fact, during the time when Rilon was Secretary of Justice, during the time of Cory, he created a non-existent uh, legal animal of uh, uh, rebellion, complex with no. murder uh, and uh, okay. multiple frustrations. We have 30 murder. seconds left. No, If they run this through, will the military react? Our military who have invested lives you know, uh, in defending the Constitution. I, I, I was about to say something yes. about that. Uh, under Section 3 of Article 2 of the Constitution, mm. it will be some degree of inutility mm. on the part of the military if they will have no reaction mm. to all this because mm. You know, they are the protector of the people mm -hmm. and, the state. And, the and the state. And to secure the state and uh, preserve the national sovereignty. Sovereignty is thrown here okay. into the garbage. Ferdi, anything to add? The last one is uh, upon enactment of, into law of this one, uh, we will have to pay them 1 billion pesos. And then we still have to pay them 7 billion pesos. Uh, this is like a tribute aside from the 1 billion. And then uh, another 10 billion pesos uh, at 2 billion pesos uh, per year. So it's a vassal, a uh, vassal age, uh, giving a tribute to an empire. Okay, we've run out of time. Uh, that's enough food for thought for one week. <laughs> then we'll continue with the other details for more food of thought, uh, for thought for our audience. So maraming salamat to have a good weekend. If we can still have a good weekend with these kinds of developments from this uh, yellow government. Mabuhay and have a good night. So...